The two of us make videos about our lovely city, Prague, in the Czech Republic. And quite often we point out to a problem, to a scam, to some situation that is not good for the people or the tourists. And quite often you, our viewers, ask us in the comments, well, was it solved? Like, did somebody do something to fix it? Well, that's what today's video is all about. We're gonna show you places and things that changed after we published our videos. And the first one is right down here in the metro station. This is one of the metro stops in downtown Prague. That means a lot of tourists go here every day. And many of them were cheated by an exchange office that was here, that was violating the laws. I've witnessed some nasty, nasty situations between the people working there and the tourists. Since we're in the Prague Metro, this property is owned by the city of Prague. So we were pushing onto the city and we said, look, this place is violating the law. Why don't you terminate their contract? They said, we just can't do that because the contract is for a specific time. And the fact that they're violating a law doesn't affect the contract. My head was about to explode. But we have made so many videos about this exchange office and the chain of these exchange offices that eventually the Czech National Bank noticed what they're doing and they not only uh, gave them a massive fine, huge fine, but they also took away their license. Now, if you're curious if the company uh, paid the fine, they did not. That's why this is only a partial win. Right now the space is empty and the only thing here is a hanging wire that I hope is not a live wire. This gothical masterpiece is called the Powder Gate. And back in the days, there used to be parking lot or parking spaces right under it. And we didn't really make a video about it, but we were lobbying uh, in the city and we were trying to tell them, look, we think that it's a bad idea that cars are parking under a gothical gate. And to be fair, those weren't cars from like residents that live here. Most of the time, it was this big limo that was just used for advertisement for one of the sex club. Uh, so we managed to lobby enough that eventually they got rid of the parking spaces. But it's only a partial win because now it's just a big traffic jam under this gothical gate. We are in front of the main train station in Prague and there's these staircases in glass. And if you've been here in a certain time, they were not here. Or they were here, but they were covered in yellow advertisement and also inside were three Euronet ATMs, only targeting tourists that come to Prague so they could overcharge them with fees for withdrawal. We've made many, many videos about it and luckily, the city finally decided not to rent this space to this company. And not only that, the problem mainly here was that these staircases were never used because they were so dirty and smelly inside that you simply couldn't walk through. So not only they got rid of these uh, ATMs, but they also cleaned the staircases so you can actually walk through and breathe. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's pretty good. And you can see people walking through here. Up to this point, we only showed you places that changed from negative to positive. In this case, it changed from positive to even much better. And our frequent viewers already recognize the location and the place, and that is the uh, St. Havel Church behind me, where after we published a video asking for help with buying a new bell, changed because it now has a new bell. 
I can clearly see it right there and it's gonna ring within four and a half hours. It rings every day at 6 p.m. So if you happen to walk through here, you can wait for it to ring. Thanks to many people who contributed to this bell. And if you're sad that you couldn't contribute and you're like, oh man, I wish I knew that I could send some money and these uh, guys will buy a new bell in Prague. Well, you can actually do that. Go to a website, 9801.cz, where you can read about a story for a new bell that we're trying to get to Prague not to two of us, but our friends, and we're trying to help them with that, so check that out. And then we're gonna make a video how things in Prague changed once again. Another change that happened after we published our video is that a garden restaurant disappeared from this street. And it had a cable that was attached to it to a restaurant that was inside. And when you followed the cable, you found out that it actually goes inside this restaurant because they weren't paying for electricity, so they simply took it from somewhere else. And you may be wondering, like, yeah, but now whoever owns the building is not getting any, any rent, so this is not really a good change. Well, they were not getting any rent before because not only the restaurant was not paying for the electricity, they were not also paying for the rent. Uh, now the place is empty, but I hope eventually uh, something new will show up and we will be able to show it to you in the future. Another very positive and visible change after we published a video was that this spot is missing a taxi car. This is a pedestrian zone, taxis cannot enter here, but this was a parking spot for these crooked cabbie drivers that would overcharge tourists. And we made an entire series about it with my buddy Marcus, and um, we've showed them, and after we published it, they simply avoided coming here to this spot, which made us very happy. Up until a couple days ago, when I was walking through the street here, and the series we filmed seven years ago, so many people already forgot about it, and some driver actually parked here and was waiting to pick up some tourists, and I was approaching him, and when he saw me, he quickly stepped on the gas and left, probably thinking that he does not want to be a star of our videos. Brave move, buddy. Another positive change that happened after we published a video happened here in Prague, but not in downtown, but in the TV studios where a TV station is based. And they were broadcasting this TV competition. It caused a big buzz in the Czech media and among many people who were responsible for the TV broadcast. And eventually they got it off the air. So that's a very positive change. Uh, and don't worry, we still are keeping our eyes on the TV channel. If they eventually will come back with this kind of game or different one, we will be there watching it with our remotes sitting by the TV to make sure that nobody gets tricked by them again. The next change, something that changed after our video, we're gonna show you is the most recent. It changed within last couple days. Uh, and also if you have any idea, if you have no idea what I'm talking about when I say this video and that video, you can obviously check out the Honest Guy channel where you can find all the videos that I'm referring to. I know the reason you're watching our videos is to watch the small little silly stuff that we show you. Like this pointless thing that was some sort of something that was inside a trdelnik stand that we showed on an episode of Useless Things. Well, since then somebody put a duct tape over it and I think we have to apologize because it's not useless anymore. This is a piece of art. I wonder what it's gonna look like after we publish this video. I'm very much looking forward to it. Can somebody make like a little thing saying a piece of art, you know, with a year and the artist? <laughs> and last but not least, a change that really struck us and that we're most happy for is that many of you, our viewers, are noticing things around Prague and wherever you live. And mainly, uh, if you see a scam, if you see something that is not good, uh, you pick up your phone and you at least film it and you warn others about it. Můžu tak? Podvaníček? 
Aha, tak zdravíme ze znojma, Janku. Takže tady vidíme čistý podvod. A na jednom mluvíte, na jednom mluvíte. Já jsem se chvíli to. Ano. A. Pozor, vás nepřijde auto. Takže Janku, podvodnice dorazili do Valeska Mestíčí. Dokonce hážový tady kameny. Hats down and thank you for that. And if you would like to send us your footage, if you have any, if you're helping someone uh, in a city, wherever you live, you can do that. We have an email, podvůdky at gmail.com. Uh, I'll link it below so you can send it there and maybe we can do like a compilation video of stuff that you guys have filmed uh, that changed something to be a little better. This video was made by Honza and Janek, the honest guys. Thank you so much for watching. This is the most beautiful city in the world, Prague. Uh, so please come here if you're unready, if you want to get more ready. We have dozens, maybe hundreds of videos that will help you on your travels. Uh, if you subscribe to the channel, it will obviously make us happy because then we can be like, yo, we got like million subscribers, whatever. So thanks for that and I'll see you next week, I'm sorry. And in the end, I'm going to teach you um, a Czech word, and that will be změna, which is a change. Uh, change can also be a směna. If you're referring to money change, then it's směna. But if it's a change, as in like, I changed a color or I changed my coat, then it's změna. So the difference. I'm not going to get into details. If you want to get to the details of the Czech language, you can become our Patreon, and you can see me struggle with our language. <laughs>